With the Summer Olympics rapidly approaching, today on the Bite Size Sports Update, we will speak with a member of the men's Spain swimming team. What's up, guys? I'm Nathan Bronson. Men's swimming has been a mainstay at the Olympics for over 100 years when swimming went from being held in open water to competition being placed in a pool in 1908. This year, men's swimming will have 17 events including freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly, among many others. All these events will be held in the new state-of-the-art London Aquatic Center built by architectural genius Zaha Hadid. Quick thing to note, the swimming pool is 50 meters long, 25 meters wide, and three meters deep. It is divided into 10 lanes, and although the center eight are only used for competition. The spotlight for this year's Olympics is Michael Phelps, who is a holder of 14 gold medals and has stated that this will be his final Olympic run. He will have some tough competition in Ryan Lochte, another USA native, who is a favorite in a few events over Phelps. Today though, joining us is one of the three qualifiers for the men's Spain team, and joining us is backstroke swimmer, Ashwin Wildebor. Ashwin, how you doing today, man? How you doing, Nathan? Call me Ashton, like the ladies do, because I look like Ashton Kutcher is what they say from that 70s show. You know that guy? Um, yes, I, I know the who Ashton Kutcher. The ladies say I look like Ashton Kutcher. Nathan, by the way, love the show. Thank you, I appreciate it. So Ashton, I guess is what I'm gonna call you now. Call me Ashton. Okay, so- A hit with the ladies in Spain, Ashton is me. Okay, so you're one of three qualifiers for Spain. Tell me, walk me through. Olympic what... tattoo right here, Nathan. Nice, so best of luck to you. Thanks. Um, so backstroke is your event. You're, you're a pretty good stroker, I guess, so to speak. They call me the master stroker, Nathan. Master stroker on the Spanish swimming team. Okay, so you recently- Ashton, the master stroker. <laughs> That's that's great, Ashton. So tell me tell me um, what your training's been like and what you've been doing. I can see you're at a pool right now. Have you been working? You've been in the pool? Woo. I am working out like a maniac. We have a rigorous training regimen that consists of several strenuous exercises once every two weeks. Very tough. I would like to see the U.S. Olympic team do our kind of exercises. We're gonna kick their butts this year in the Olympics. Okay, so your event is the 100 meter backstroke and you actually set a world record in 2008, but in, 2000, in 2008 also, Aaron Pearsall beat that record, a USA, USA native, and he's actually gonna be in the Olympics this year. So what do you gotta say about Pearsall? I will retake the record. The world record, and I will drink many, many cerveza beers in victory. Okay, so celebration in, in victory. Yeah, you don't want to be bloated when you head into the pool, right? So, tell me, tell me what your diet's like when you step into the pool when you're competing. What What do you eat in the games, and and uh, how do you get ready for the, the Spanish Olympics? basketball team has a very, very strict dietary regimen, Nathan, as you probably well know, unless you're a layman. Okay. We eat many, many, many things that are healthy, including hamburgers, french fries, and bananas, Nathan. So carb a load, and then you get the potassium. Be right bananas. there, be right there. All right, yeah, just, just a few more questions. I also wanted to bring up Ashton, I guess is what I'm going to have to call, call you. Call me Ashton, the ladies like me because they say I look like Ashton Kutcher, Nathan. By the way, love the show. So you have an older brother, Olaf, who's actually- ESPN, right? What? This is not ESPN. Oh. This is the Bite Size Sports Update. Ooh. So, I, I, just a few more moments of your time and I'll let you go. I know you got a lot to do. Olaf, he's, a, he's your older brother, freestyle swimmer. What have you learned from him growing up? Because swimming has been a part of your life for a lot of the time. I learned many things from Olaf, but mostly I learned how to pick up the ladies from Olaf. He's a good ladies man. We, we go trolling for chicks often, Nathan. Okay, and one last question. Aaron Pearsall and you are probably going head to head in the backstroke competition. Um, how do you see this one playing out and uh, can Spain expect a gold medal coming from you? We will see many gold medals from me. As you can see, my what's around my neck. Yeah, those, uh, those, those. <laughs> These things make me laugh. It's so funny that I have so many gold medals yet so few Olympic victories. Okay, well, I want to wish you the best of luck, Ashton. Thanks, Nathan. But can I walk up my website? Yeah, you got a website you want to give us? Yes, Go I right do. Ahead. Yes, I do. Okay.
www.freewebhostingforyou.com slash users slash swimmerman5000 with the ladies slash photos underscore slash free trial dot html. It's my website. All right, Ashton. That's what, I don't know why I'm calling you that. Anyway. Call me Ashton. The ladies like me. All right, the lady killer, Ashton. Uh, Spain men's national team. I want to gotta wish go. You the, gotta go. Want to wish you the best of luck. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that's a little swimming preview for you. July 24th is when swimming gets started in London at the London Aquatic Center. I want to thank you guys for joining us at the Bite Size Sports Update. We, you guys, keep you posted on all Olympic coverage. You guys have a good day.